What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Rope, back again with another video. Today's video, we got to talk a little bit more about this all-star situation, specifically how this impacts LaMelo Ball in the short term and in the future. Um, I looked over and my dog was trending on Twitter, and I said, you know what? Let's talk about it. Let's Super go. Bees! AB the hero. Back at it, baby. So first things first, appreciate everybody who hit the like button. Thank you. Before that intro was over, let's get into it. So now, um, I'm, I'm, I saw Melo over here was trending, so I clicked on it, and then I was like, all right, let's, let, let's take a look at what's happening here. So let's scroll through here, and we'll have some conversation looking at some of the tweets here from, from and, and, and truthfully, the cool part is a lot of this is folks we mess with on the channel. All right, so we got KJ Sports Talk. My personal opinion, I think Charlotte worries that if LaMelo becomes an all-star too early, one, gives him power too early, and he can't ask for um, he can ask for more on his next contract for sure if he gets into that Luca Trey Supermax stuff. So I agree. I, 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 I've seen this, right? When it comes to the conspiracy theory, we look at how... Um, um, they they promoted him kind of it started a bit late so all-star voting started on the 25th and I don't think that we got any like official official all-star publications or promotions from the Charlotte Hornets team until damn near close to the new year about four or five five or six days um, after the initial push to get to get votes um, and even doing that so they they did a, a, a try push where they push Miles Bridges, which I think is is 100% cool, um, and Lamelo Ball, and then also Terry Rozier. Um, obviously, it, it, it feels like it doesn't matter if they vote. If um, you know what I mean, Terry and and, and Lamelo can't cancel each other out because there's two guard spots, and uh, if you're voting for Terry, you voting for Lamelo for sure. Um, but I think that the power play is is something to talk about there, right? Because we look at a team who has already said that um, LaMelo is ahead of schedule with them, right? We already weren't expecting these things. We signed all of these guys to, to big contracts, and then now LaMelo is coming in here and playing like he's playing. This matters to us, right? Because um, we want to get our money's worth. If we don't get the money... If we don't get our money back and our, from Gordon Hayward, we look crazy, right? You damn near liable to get fired for that. Um, so, so you see a lot of these guys, um, you know what I mean? So, so that that's part of it, right? Too much power, too early. We look crazy if we don't give him a load of keys, and then also we look crazy if we do give him the keys, and now we're wasting all of this money on these other guys. Um, ask for new money on the next count. I feel like. That's just part of the game, right? It, 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 I don't think it's, it's a really about the dollar amount that you're going to ask for because truth of the matter is most of these teams want to have a guy who is at that all NBA level and all of that because the return on investment for you is is, is sensational. You look at a Dame Lillard, a Steph Curry, not only do those guys put butts in the seats, but those guys are talented enough to push you deep into the playoffs, which also results into more money. Um, so, so that's what that is. Let's go back here. Now, this is interesting here because it also goes to that minutes debate that we heard people or hear people have all of the time. LaMelo Ball stats when playing 30 plus minutes in his career, 22 points, eight boards, eight assists, uh, one damn near two steals, almost a, a half a block. That, this is it's a stellar stat line. It's a stellar stat line, and there is a strong contingent of people who feel like Melo should be playing more minutes, more minutes, more minutes, more minutes. And when you see this um, this stat line, it makes a compelling argument for that. Damn, they're giving you 20-plus points and then almost a triple-double um, on on with uh, minus two more rebounds and two assists, right? Um, so... You see the the shooting from three, you know what I mean? Always you want to get to that 40% mark if you can, you know what I'm saying? If he could get that, the, even the field goal percentage up a bit. But um, I, I think I've seen, I'm, I'm going to see if I see a tweet. There's a tweet in here that's, that talks about um, the adjusted shooting percentage um, for Melo if you account the threes for the value. It's a whole thing. We might see it, we might not. But let's keep going. Let's see. 
when you're LaMelo Ball, you can roll up to the arena. You park wherever you want. Damn, that's a that's a super, that's a dope car, man. Dope, dope, dope car. Kelly Oubre dropped 39 points, uh, but he was still in awe of Ball's triple double. Even told LaMelo during the game, you tough, yeah. You facts. Here's the thing. It, it, I, I, Kelly Oubre and all of these Hornets guys got so much love for each other, right? But I was saying this yesterday. I was at the game, and there were times in the game where I saw Kelly Oubre just be physically like upset because he was he was hot. He was on fire, and then you see Melo go score. He's like, hot. Tell him to pass me the ball. Something, something like that. And then, uh, and so, but I, I love the the the. I love the the what's the chemistry of this this squad here. Let's go We're back. Trey Young, Lamelo. First thought that came to your mind when you see these two photos. I don't know. All right, that's a score from last night. Let's look at the latest tweets and see what what's going on with the the trend right now. All right, let's go back. Oh, boy, they're coming in hot because you can't even get to the top. There we go. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Levine, Butler, Garland, Allen feel like the only locks for the bench. After them, I can see cases for Middleton, Holiday, um, Hero, Lamelo, Tatum. <sighs> this is the one here, man. I, I do feel like the the Miami Heat is the number one team right now in the Eastern Conference, so. You got to let Jimmy Butler get in there. Um, Garland is hooping, hooping, and folks feel like that. I really, Allen, the, 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 the Cavs are not only is it one of these situations where they just hooping, but they actually winning games too. I think a lot of times um, with these young guys, especially they go to these different teams. We, we think about Anthony Edwards and some of these dudes who will go to teams who um, – <laughs> they they gonna lose, so you just get the ball, go do whatever you want, and get the stats. But these dudes here hooping, hooping, and they they getting W. So shout out to them. Um, the games won't affect Levine. He missed time. Lamelo has hardened, um, has injuries, and injuries will not matter. Lamelo, uh, ah, uh, time. All right, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, my man, Caden. Uh, yes, he can get. Good dribble style, see, bro. My point guards are Penny and Lamelo. I don't know what I'm talking about. Lamelo Ball is an offensive engine on the highest scoring team in the league. Why is this not talked about? That's a fact of Mundo. And uh, when you when we look at a league that is is in a fan base that's predicated on points, um, you would think that that would be a a bigger draw when folks really just go ahead and solidify my dog as an all star. But you know what I'm saying soon come. Let's go back here. Who are your favorite? Who are your favorite five players in the league? I had to change mine up a bit. Ja, Russ, Butler. Uh, damn, but. Butler and Simmons, there you go. Simmons ain't even on the court right now. If LaMelo don't make the all-star reserve, that's going to be crazy. That's a fact of my dog. That's going to be... I'm, I'm going to lose my mind on that one. I ain't going to lose my mind. I ain't going to lose my sleep. But that, that would be dope to see. Let's see. Hasta la Melo. You obviously was hoping for LaMelo when I saw the color, but it's still a good hit. I don't know how is it how is Zach Levine over LaMelo? LaMelo is having a better all-around season. So y'all only care about points. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. This this is the league that we, we kind of live in right now. 19 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. Um is 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 cool but folks are like man but though you got to score more points the, even the fact that you're touching the the so much of the game it, it don't even matter to folks man so i i will say the only edge that maybe if you just go off of statistics the win percentage right this is the thing i, I keep saying this but is if you win in this league your stats don't have to be as crazy um if, if you're getting w's 
media screwed LaMelo, so he should take a vacation and chill during All-Star, huh? Miles Bridges finishes fourth in both player and media voting, but eighth in fan voting. That's what I'm saying. It's so crazy to me, right? You you had a great opportunity. Well, Miles Bridges is tough, right? The fan voting on in the front court is going to be hard for anybody because if you if you're really voting because for who you think is an all-star, like you probably would never come up on the ballot. You know what I'm saying? A guy like Miles Bridges is going to get votes and, and all that stuff from the Twitter votes and all of that stuff where you can hashtag him in there and all of that stuff. But when it's just like, yo, select three guys here, like it's Embiid, it's um, Giannis, it's uh, um, whoever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Durant. So it's just a hard situation for him to be in. But it's a good look for him to be fourth in players and media because he might be able to sneak in on a reserve. Now, here's the issue now. If you got Miles Bridges or LaMelo Ball into the All-Star game and only one of them made it, like, it, it, are, are you upset about that? Damn, that's all. That's crazy. John Morant and LaMelo really showing out this season. Big facts. Mm -hmm. my all-stars let's see all right my man here he got uh lamello coming off the bench let's see you get 12 spots so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah yeah he's straight damn anthony edwards over lamello i don't see it i got these cards here man Ten dollars. I got them same ones. Let's see. I got that. No, I ain't got them. I ain't got it. Look like it. Dang it. Well, all right, man. We finna get up out of here. Let me know what y'all think. Um, that's bad news for Lamelo getting a reserve spot. I, I think he'll slide in there. I think there's some. You know what I mean? Probably some guys who would normally make it who probably won't. There's always injuries, right? And and I know people like, man, you didn't get on that injury. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, shit. Most folks would take it. Let's see. Miles Bridges finished four. All right. We already looked at that one. Um, three voting groups determined. Fan votes. Fan votes. Um, 25%. 25%. Yeah. LaMelo Ball. What are seeing? All right, yeah, we scrolled all the way past that. But it's your main man, ABD Hero, man. I appreciate all y'all for, for, for tapping in with me. All that stuff. Let me see who is here. We ain't got nobody in the building tonight. But it is, it's, um, we'll be back, you know what I'm saying, with more. Let's do it. Hero. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's. We out.